Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. You have caught me in the midst of my UN internship series. There's one video out already and um, because this is a democracy, I recently took to my community tab. Shout out to YouTube for giving me a community tab. I have been waiting for one for so long um and now i have one which is so cool so keep your eyes peeled on that i will be engaging with you all um more so on there just because like the purpose of this is really to build a community and i basically asked which video you want to see first um, a video where i read out the cover letter that got me my un internship or the video where i talk about my un interview experiences and according to the poll 60 percent of you at, at least at the time of recording this voted that you would like to see the un cover letter video first so here i am a woman of the people i'm just here to deliver so obviously in prep for this video i had to go back into the archives to find this cover letter first of all and when i found it i just I felt like mixed emotions, but I really want to share what I, what the settling emotion was. Because I always say you are not responsible for your first thought, but you very much are responsible for your second. When I first read through it, I was like, wow, my cover letters have come such a long way since then. Um, and this cover letter really walked so my current cover letters could run because they're sprinting at this point, if I do say so myself. And then, you know, the more enlightened part of me refrained from being critical of the past version of myself that wrote this cover letter. And, you know, usually I think we can all be very self-critical. I don't think this is unique to me. Um, and for me, I, you know, it often takes shape in the form of, oh my gosh, you were so ignorant. The settling emotion and really my second thought was just that you know 23 year old me was really just doing the best she could with what she had and with what she knew and um yeah i've made it seem like this is the worst cover letter out there it really isn't i actually remember being so proud of it funny enough the place where i found the cover letter is actually an email i had sent to my friend who had reached out asking for cover letter guidance and here's the best part about this story. I actually hadn't been selected for the internship yet, let alone, you know, being shortlisted for an interview. But I just remember after submitting this um, application, I do remember thinking this cover letter was pretty good. I mean, enough to send it to, you know, my friend as a sample of what a cover letter should look like, even though I had no external validation that this really was, uh, you know, you an internship worthy cover letter, if you will. So yes, and as much as this video is really about a UN internship cover letter, I'd be amiss if I let the opportunity slide to remind you not to be too critical of past versions of yourself because genuinely you were just doing the best you could with what you knew and that has to be enough. Okay, last thing before we get into it for real, um, I need to give a necessary disclaimer that evidently there are so many ways to write a UN worthy cover letter. The purpose of this video really is just to show you one of said ways. You're more than welcome to copy the structure of my cover letter but it's really not advisable that you copy the content of my cover letter and I think that's pretty much all the housekeeping I need to do today and let's just get into it. Dear sir or madam, I'm hereby applying for the GIGA communications internship with the Office of Innovation at UNICEF headquarters. I would like to intern for UNICEF because this organization shares the same passions and beliefs that I have held for many years. Protecting, educating and empowering the world's most vulnerable children is work I consider fulfilling and it would be an honor to contribute to this cause. Furthermore, this internship is appealing to me because I am interested in the execution of well-strategized global programs like the GIGA and how they intersect with effective communication strategies. I believe I am a suitable candidate for this internship because I have strong written and verbal communication skills which I am regularly improving both online and offline. I led the English team as a global engagement officer for Kafuska University of Venice for one year. Being equipped with these skills will help me to prepare engaging content using persuasive and emotive language for the different UNICEF social media platforms. Furthermore, these skills will help me to efficiently gather information, draft out reports and correspond with personnel and third parties. Moreover, I possess a strong track record of creating quality content for my blog, previously entitled Le Blog de Lamia, my university's website, and most recently for my storytelling podcast, 
entitled Global Narratives, where I share events and experiences that have altered my perception and changed the way I move through the world. In one year, my podcast has been streamed in over 30 countries, and I continue to refine my storytelling skills with every new episode. I also take online classes such as Keith Yamashita's class, Storytelling for Leaders, how to craft stories that matter. Lastly, after holding several leadership positions, such as Head of Vimba House 2016 and Secretary of the European Parliament in the Venice University's Model European Union 2019, I have gained strong organizational, speech writing and problem solving skills which I believe will make me an asset to any team. Through this internship, I hope to improve my understanding of analytics on platforms that I am less familiar with, while building new skills such as learning how to operate new software. More importantly, as I aspire to insert very big life goal that I cannot share on Beyonce's internet here, this internship will be very insightful as international internet connectivity will be essential as we strive to close the digital divide and persevere towards SDG4 quality education. The GIGA program will also provide me with an opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals who are just as devoted to international development. Thank you for taking my application into consideration. Yours sincerely, Lamia Farah. I really hope this cover letter has given you some guidance in your own cover letters, be it with the United Nations or elsewhere. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.